Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm CLB Psyduck and today I'll be showing you a video of all the characters I have and I'll be showing my inventories I have up to this point today on June 17th of 2021. This is a new idea I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing this when a new version starts. So when a version is about to end, I'll be making these types of videos. So please like and subscribe down below if you would like to see more videos from me and help support my content. As you guys know, Genshin Impacts 2.0 is about to come out in a couple days and it's all about Inazuma. So um, I've been playing for 58 days and I would like to show you guys everything about my characters, how I've been built, what's all in my inventory, what I've all farmed, and I hope you guys would like this. So let's get right into it. So let's start with Kazuha. I have him on level 72 out of 80. His HP, 1400. You got attack at 800. You got defense at 700. And then you got elemental mastery. I got my crit rate and crit damage. You got my energy recharge at 108. My animal damage bonus, 32. I have an iron sting on him. The base attack of 388. And an elemental mastery of 136. His weapon is a refinement rank 1 and level 70 out of 70. His artifacts, I have the four piece viridescent veneer, so a, a level four in remembrance of viridescent fields with HP up 1377, attack 113 with crit damage, HP, defense, and some more HP for the arrow feather. For my viridescent veneer's determination, I have 139 elemental mastery with a 16 leveled artifact on him that has crit rate defense hp and attack for the goblet i have the gambler's dice cup which has an anima damage bonus of 17 percent and it has attack defense and hp for my van dustin veneers diadem i have crit damage with crit rate hp energy recharge and attack I have a constellation one for Kazuha. My talents, sadly all level two. And then next we're moving on to Barbara, one of my main healers. So Barbara, she's at a level 75 out of 80 and her total attributes, she has 19,000 HP, uh, 700 attack, 800 defense, crit rate, crit damage, 1156. Healing bonus is at 15%. Energy recharge, 114.9. For my weapons, she has the prototype, Amber. Base attack, 449. HP, 37.7%. A level 80 out of 80, and a refinement rank 2. Artifacts, I have her on a, the 4-piece Maiden. So, she has a 5-star HP Maiden Distant Love with attack, defense, HP, and crit rate. She has a 5-piece Feather with attack, and 8 two hp stats and a defense she has a four star energy recharge 14.9 with crit rate attack defense and attack for the goblet i have her on wonder string kettle her hp is 22.3 percent attack hp crit damage and defense and then for her circulate i have her on a four piece made on spade and beauty and that's hp 9.9 .9, with more hp and some defense going into constellations she's only on constellation one gleeful songs her talents i have her normal attack on a level three still skill on a level six her shining miracle her burst on a level four going to shang yun shang yun's at a level 70 out of 70. max hp for shang yun is 12,000 and 1,000 attack, 600 defense, almost 700. Elemental mastery, 34. Uh, crit rate is 5%. Crit damage is 98%. Energy recharge is 167.6. And then he has a cryo damage bonus of 31.3. Now, Shang Yun's weapon, I have a favorite great sword on him with base attack 347 and energy recharge 50.5. I have it leveled at 70 out of 70 and a refinement rank 1. Is his artifact set? I have a four piece noblesse. And then, so with his artifacts, with his flower, his royal flora, I have it. A four star, a level 14, so HP, attack, defense, defense, and attack. His royal plum feather, attack of 209, energy recharge, attack, elemental mastery, and defense. And that's again four star. Four star royal pocket watch, sands of iron, attack is 31.3. I got defense on him, HP, and crit damage. 
A four-star royal sl silver urn. Goblet of Entithome is a cryo damage bonus. And so you got energy recharge, defense, crit damage, and HP. Moving on to his circular of Logos. I put on Instructor's Cap. It's a four star at a level 13. Defense, HP, defense, energy recharge. That's his artifacts. Constellations. I have him at a Constellation 2. Ice Unleashed and Atmosphere Revolution. Talents. I have his normal on a level 5. I have his Spear Blade Shanyan's Layered Frost on a level 5. And I have his Spear Blade Cloud Parting Star on a level 5. Klee. Klee is my favorite. I got Klee built so much and she makes me have the mom feels. I'm not a mom. So, but she definitely gives me mom instincts. And it, it's so sad when she gets hit by an enemy and she starts crying. It makes me sad when I lose damage and she starts crying. But anyways, I got my Klee level 80 out of 80. I have her stats at 11,000 HP. Attack is at 1,000. And then defense is at 600. Elemental mastery is 55. Crit rate is 43.2. Crit damage 87.5. 113.5. Now, Klee needs pyro damage. I got her on a 98.1. Moving on to Klee's weapons, I have her on Lost Prayers to Sacred Winds with a base attack of 532 and a crit rate of 30.2. Uh, this is a 5 star weapon and it's a level 80 out of 80 with a refinement rank 1. I'm going into artifacts right now, I'm working on building her artifacts. So she did have a 4 piece, but currently has a 2 piece pyro damage bonus. She has a 5 star, which is Feather Flower of Blaze, has a 717 HP, crit rate, crit damage, and defense. Going into the Witches Ever Burning Plum, it's a 4 star, a level 16, attack 232, crit rate, energy recharge, HP, and elemental mastery for the second stats. For the Sands of Ion, which is in time, I have her with an attack of 6.3 HP, defense, and crit rate for her substats. This is a 4 star and 0 leveled. For her goblet of Anathomim, it is a pyro damage bonus, 29.5. Substats is a defense, energy recharge, attack, defense, and this is a 4 star and a level 13 artifact. And lastly, going to her circulate of Logos, this is a 5 star, a level 8, crit damage, 30.5 with defense, HP, elemental mastery, and defense. Moving on to her constellations. I have zero constellations for her. Talents. Normal attack. I have her on a level 5. Jumpy Dumpty is a level 5. And Sparks and Splash is a level 4. Noelle is my main for Geo. And she's also another main support character. I'm building, building her as a defense and healer. Um, let's get into her. Well, I have her on the level 70 out of 8. Her max HP is 14,000. Her attack is on 700. Defense, 1,500. Elemental Mastery is 32. Crit Rate, 12.8. And Crit Damage, 55%. Healing Bonus, 33.6. And Energy Recharge, 105.2. And her Shield Strength is on 35. Moving on to Traveler. Max HP is 9,000. Attack is 703, defense 593, elemental mastery is 15, crit rate is 5%, crit damage 100%, energy recharge 125.3, NMO damage bonus of 15% with a physical damage bonus of 25%. Weapons, I have a Harbinger of Dawn on him with a base attack of 282, crit damage is 34.5, it's a 3 star artifact and I have a level 60 out of 70 and a refinement rank 5. Artifacts? I have a two-piece Viridescent on him and a two-piece Chivalry set, Bloodstained Chivalry on him. His Viridescent in Remembrance of Viridescent Fields, Flower of Life, HP is 645. Uh, it's a four-star and a zero-leveled artifact. With his Viridescent Arrow Feather, it's a Plum of Death. Attack is at 42. It's a four-star artifact, level zero. And attack is at 4.7 and defense at 17. A Viandessin Veneer's Determination, Sands of Ion. Gave, it's a 4 star at a level 0. HP is at 6.3, and his substats is at crit damage and energy recharge. For his Bloodstained Chivalry's Goblet, it has an attack of 27.7. It's a 4 star at a level 12, and his substats has defense, crit damage, 
attack and HP. For his Bloodstained Iron Mask is a circlet of Logos. His attack is 6.3, it's a 4 star artifact at a level 0, and the substats are crit damage, HP, and elemental mastery. His constellation is C6. His talents is a level 1 normal attack, a level 5 home vortex, and a level 4 gust surge. Moving on to Lisa, max HP is 8000, attack is 650, 456 for defense, elemental mastery. 147. I have her at a level of 60 out of 70. A 7.5 crit rate and a crit damage at 50. Uh, energy recharge 136. Lisa's weapons I equipped onto her is a favorite codex. Base attack is 309. Energy recharge 31.8. It's a 4 star weapon and I have it leveled at 55 out of 60 at a refinement rank 1. Artifacts. 4 piece for instructor. Her flower is instructor's brooch, flower of life, HP is 645, it's a 4 star weapon, I have it on a 0. Moving on to instructor feather and accessory, plum of death, it's a 4 star artifact on level 0 and she has attack of 42. This is instructor's pocket watch, stands of ion, her attack is 9.9%, this is a 4 star weapon at a level 2. Her defense is 17 in HP for her substats. Her Goblet of Enithomum, she has a Berserker's Bone Goblet, and it provides an electro damage bonus of 6.3%. It's a 4 star artifact at a level 0, and her HP attack and some more attack for her substat. Lastly, her Circlet of Logos is an Instructor's Cap for an attack of 11.6. It's a 4 star artifact at a level 3 and an HP defense for the substats. Lisa's Constellations, she's at a Constellation 1. For her talents, I have them all on level 4. Moving on to Bennett, I have a level 60 out of 60. Max HP is 95-93. Attack is 579. Defense 567. He has a physical damage bonus of 25%, and then energy recharge 159.4, crit rate is 7.5, and then crit damage at a 50%. His weapon, I have a Skyrider sword on him, base attack is 253, energy recharge is 38.3, it's a 3 star weapon, I have it at a level 60 out of 70, and a refinement rank 5. Then it's artifacts, he has a 2 piece bloodstained chivalry and a two-piece gladiator's final. For his flower of life, he has a lava walker's resolution. HP is 645. It's a four-star artifact, and it's zero leveled with substats, attack, and defense. For his plum of death is a bloodstained black plum. Its attack is 42, and it's a four-star four artifact at a level zero. Substats is attack and energy recharge. For his stands of ion, is a gladiator's longing, attack at 6.3%, it's a 4 star artifact at a level 0, attack and defense for his substats. Bloodstained Shiver's Goblet of Enithomum, HP is 6.3%, it's a 4 star artifact and it's at a level 0. Substats is crit rate and energy recharge. For his circulate of Logos, he has a gladiator's triumphus, attack is 6.3%, it's a 4 star artifact and it's at a level 0. HP 3.3% and defense 4.7% on his substats. Moving on into Bennett's constellations, he has uh, one constellation, Grand Expectation. His talents are all level 1. Moving on to Sucrose. Sucrose is a level 50 out of 60. Her HP is 7000, her attack is 373, defense is 507, elemental mastery 161. Her crit rate is 9.4, her damage is 50%. 110.4 for energy recharge, and then 18.3 for an animal damage bonus. Moving on to her weapons, she has the Map of Man. It's a base attack is 148, elemental mastery is 42, and a 4 star artifact. It's a level 21 out of 40, and refinement rank 1. Moving on to her artifacts, for her flower of life is Instructor's Brooch. HP is 1377. It's a 4 star artifact at a level 4. And her, her substats is attack, energy recharge, and defense. Moving on to her plum of death is instructor's feather accessory. Attack is 90. It's a 4 star artifact and it's at a level 4. Substats, HP, elemental mastery, and crit rate. Her sands of ion is a witch's end time. It gives a 25 elemental mastery. It's a 4 star artifact and it's a level 0. Substats attack. 
percentage attack and defense percentage. Onto her goblet of Anathomen. It's a martial artist's wine cup. It gives her the animo damage bonus of a 6.3%. It's a four star artifact and it's a level zero. HP and defense with her substats for that artifact. Lastly, her circlet of logos. It's an instructor's cap. Her defense is 7.9%. It's a four star artifact at a level zero. And for her secondary stats, it's crit rate and energy recharge. Moving on onto her constellations. I have zero constellations for her. Going on to her talents, her normal wind spirit creation is a level one. Her estable hypostasis creation is a level one and her forbidden creation is a level one. Moving on to Razor. Razor is a level 50 out of 60. Max HP is 10,779. Attack is 480. Defense 493. Elemental mastery of 50. Um, physical damage bonus 36.2% and then crit rate is at 19.8% crit damage 61.2 and then energy recharge 112.4% I have the snow tomb star silver equipped on him it gives him a base attack of 144 with a physical damage bonus of 13.3% this is a four star artifact at a level 20 out of 40 and a refinement rank 1 Artifacts. I have a four-piece Berserker set on Razor. Starting with his Flower of Life, I have a Berserker's Rose. HP is 2839. It's a four-star artifact at a level 12. Substats gives him HP, energy recharge, defense, and attack. Moving on into his Plum of Death, the Berserker's Indigo Feather has an attack of 137. It's a four-star artifact and it has a level 8. Defense, Elemental Mastery, Elemental re Energy Recharge, and HP for his substat. For Sands of Ion, I have a Breaker's Timepiece corrupt onto him. It gives him a 6.3% attack, and it's a 4-star artifact with a level 0. His substats are a crit rate and Elemental Mastery. Goblet of Anathomen. He has a Wanderer's String Kettle. It gives him a physical damage bonus of 7.9%. It's a 4-star artifact at a level 0. His energy recharge is at 4.1%, crit damage 5.6%, and elemental mastery at 15. For his circular of logos, I have Berserker's Battle Mask equipped onto him at an attack of 6.3%. It's a 4 star artifact at a level 0. His subsets it gives him some crit damage percent and attack. Moving on constellations, I have him at a level 1 constellation, Wolf's Instinct. I have his, all of his talents on a level 1. Moving on. To Sing Cho. I have him on a 50 out of 50. Max HP is 69.39. Attack is 551. Defense 490. Elemental Mastery 34. His crit rate is 5% with his crit damage being 56%. His energy recharge is 165. Moving on to weapons. He has a sacrificial sword equipped on him. Base attack is 184 and energy recharge 34.3. It's a four star weapon at a level 40 out of 40 and a re refinement rank one. His artifacts, I have him in two piece exile and noblesse oblige. Power of life is an exile's flower. His, the HP is 645 on him. It's a four star artifact at a level zero and his substats is defense and crit damage. For Plum of Death, there's attack of 209 over the Exile's Feather. It's a 4-star artifact at a level 14. And for his subsets on this flower is attack, energy, recharge, HP, and defense. For Sands of Ion is the Exile's Pocket Watch. Gives him a 7% energy recharge. This is a 4-star artifact at a level 0. And the subsets are Elemental Mastery and Defense. For the Goblet, I know them. It's a Royal Silver Urn. Its HP is 6.3%. It's a 4 star artifact at a level 0. He has defense as his substats. Lastly, for the Circlet of Logos, it's a Royal Mask. The HP is 6.3%. It's a 4 star artifact at a level 0. Element of Mastery and Attack for his substats. C2 Constellation. Uh, the Scent Remained and Rainbow Upon the Azure Sky. His talents, all level 1. Moving on to Ningguan. Ningguan have a level 40 out of 50. Uh, max HP is 5,778. Attack is 609. Defense is 348. And elementary mastery 19. 
She has a 12.3% for Geo Damage bonus, 100% for Energy Recharge, a 5% crit rate, and 68.4% for crit damage. Her weapon is a Dodoko Tails with a base attack of 293, its attack percentage of 40.6. This is a 4 star artifact at a level 60 out of 60 and a refinement rank 5. Her artifacts, um, she has, I have no set bonus, I, I don't really have anything on really built. <laughs> But I'll still show what I have. Flower of Life is HP is 645. Gladiator's Nostalgia. Uh, it's a four star uh, level zero attack, defense, elemental mastery. Plum of Death, Berserker's Indigo Feather. Attack is 42. Four star artifact, a uh, level zero. And it gives her subsets of HP and defense. Sands of Ion is a sundial of Endorian Jade. Uh, defense is 7.9. Uh, it's a four star our artifact and a level zero and it gives her subsets of crit damage and HP. For a goblet of NO Them, it's an outset of the Brave. Um, it gives her Geo damage bonus of 6.3%. It's a four star artifact at a level zero and crit damage and defense for her substats. For her circle of logos, it's Exile Circlet. Its crit damage is 8.4%. It's a four star artifact and that's a level zero defense and HP for her substats. For her constellations, she has zero constellations. For her talents, she has all of them on level one. Moving on to Kaya, he's at a level 40 out of 50. Max HP is 5,902. Attack is 438. Defense 405. Zero elemental mastery. 8.1 crit rate, 50% crit damage. 106.7 energy recharge and a 22.4 physical damage. Moving on to his weapons, he has the prototype Rancor with a base attack of 293 and a physical damage bonus of 22.4. This is a 4 star artifact at a level 50 out of 50 and a refinement rank 1. For his artifacts, I only have 2 artifacts on him because I don't really have him built. But he has an attack, Plum of Death, a gambler, Gambler's Feathers accessory. It's a 4 star artifact, level 0, and it gives him HP and defense for his substats. For Sands of Ion, HP is 6.3%, Exile's Pocket Watch. It's a 4 star artifact, and at a level 0, and it gives him defense and crit rate as a substat. He has 0 constellation, and his talents is all level 1. Moving on to Fischl. Fischl is a level 40 out of 50. Max HP is 4236, attack is 164, defense is 274, elemental mastery is 36. Her crit rate is 5% with her crit damage being 50% and energy recharge at 100%. Moving on to her weapon, she has the Stringless with a base attack of 42 and elemental mastery of 36. This is a 4 star weapon at a level 1 out of 20, and a refinement rank 1. Artifacts, I have no artifacts on her. A constellation, she has one constellation, Gaze of the Deep. For her talents, is all level 1. Beidou is a level 40 out of 50. HP is 7039. Attack is 269. Defense 374. Elemental Mastery 0. Crit rate is 10.3, and crit damage is 56.2. Energy recharge 124.7 and a 6% for electro damage bonus. For a weapon, she has the prototype Archaic. Its base attack is 44 and its attack is 6.0. It's a 4 star weapon, a level 1 out of 20, and its refinement rank 1. For artifacts, she has a 2 piece scholar set and a 2 piece gladiator's final. For a flower of life, it's a scholar's bookmark and its HP is 645. It's a four star artifact at a level zero. And its substats is attack and energy recharge. For the plum of death, it gives her an attack of 42. Um, this is the scholar's quail pen. It's a four star artifact at a level zero. And then for the substats, it gives her defense and crit rate. For Sands of Ion is the Gladiator's Longing. This gives a 6.3% attack. This is a 4 star artifact at a level 0. And this artifact gives her crit rate and defense. For the Goblet of N of Them, it's a Gladiator's Intoxication. Its attack is 7%. It's a 5 star artifact at a level 0. And it gives her substats of attack, defense, and some more defense. For a Circulate of Logos, it's a scholar's lens 
gives her a 6.3% HP. It's a 4 star artifact at a level 0. And for the subsets, it gives her some more crit damage and defense. For her constellations, she's at a constellation 1. Sea Beast Scourge. For her talents, she has a level 1 normal attack Ocean Door, a level 1 Tide Caller, and Stormbreaker level 1. Now we move on to Shang Lin. Shang Lin's a level 40 out of 50. Max HP is 5013. Attack is 344. Defense 308. And elemental mastery of 24. Her crit rate is at 5%. Her crit damage is at 50%. Her energy recharge is at 130.9. Moving on to her weapons. She has the prototype Star Glitter. It gives her a base attack of 205. And her energy recharge of 25.8. This is a 4 star artifact and it's at, she, it's at a 40 out of 40 with a refinement rank 1. The only artifact that's on her is the Goblet of Inathem, the Scholar's Ink Cup, and it has an attack of 6.3. It's a 4 star artifact at a level 0 and for the subsets it gives 16 attack and 5.2% energy recharge. Her constellations, I have none for her and for her talents is all at level 1. We move on to Amber. She's at a level 40 out of 50. Her max HP is 5,781. Her attack is 517. Defense is 333. And elemental mastery is 44. She has a 15% pyro bonus, 107.8 energy recharge, a 5% crit rate, and a 55% dam crit damage. For her weapons, she has Rust. It gives a base attack of 205, an attack of 23.2%. This is a 4 star artifact at a level 40 out of 40 and a refinement rank 1. For her artifacts, there's only one missing. She has a 2 piece uh, Crimson Witch of Flames. So she has the Flower Life HP of 717. This is a 5 star artifact at a level 0. And for the subsets, it gives her Elemental Mastery, Attack, and Defense. For the Plum of Death, attack is 47. This is for the Witch's Ever Burning Plum, and this is a 5 star artifact at a level 0. Subsets, it gives defense, HP, and elemental mastery. For Sands of Ion, she has the Witch's End Time. This artifact is an energy recharge of 7.8%. This is a 5 star artifact at a level 0, and this artifact has subsets that gives her some HP and attack. For the Circulet of Logos, this is Royal Mask with an attack of 11.6. It's a 4 star artifact at a level 3 and this uh, artifact has a substat that gives her defense and crit damage. Moving on to her constellations. She has no constellations. For her talents, is all level 1. Rosaria is 1 out of 20. I don't plan on building her. She's not gonna have anything on her, but I'll go through. Her max HP is 1030. Her attack is 61. Defense is 60. Elemental Mastery is 0. For her crit rates, 5% and crit damage, 50% and energy recharge, 100%. With a physical damage bonus of 15%. Her weapon is a Dragon Spire Spear. It gives a base attack of 41 and it gives a physical damage bonus of 15%. This is a 4 star artifact. It's at a level 1 out of 20 at a refinement rank 1. Artifacts, she has no artifacts on her. Constellation, she's at a uh, Constellation 3. For her talents, her talents is Normal Attack Spear of the Church, level 1, a Raging Confession, level 4, and Rites of Termination, level 1. We just got done talking back at the characters. Now, we're going to go through my inventory from day 1 to today. Here's all the weapons I have. So, a Fevrarus Warbow is another one I have. The Flute, the Wind Sith, Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. I have other worldly story. I have Ravenbow, Emerald Orb, Hailbird, Bloodstained Greatsword, another Skyrider Sword, Messenger, Slingshot, Recurve Bow, Sharpshooter's Oath, New Twin Nephrite, Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers, some more of those. We got Magic Guide, Black Tassel, White Tassel, Skyrider Greatsword, Debate Club, another Debate Club. We got White Iron Great Sword, Freer's Shadow, Fillet Blade, Traveler's Handy Sword, Harbinger of Dawn, Cool Steel. We got Pocket Grimoire, Apprentice Knits, Dual Blade, and Enhancement Ores.
These are my artifacts that I have, which is Scorching Hat, Gladiator's Nostalgia. These are all five pieces I have. Flower Prince, Cliff, Royal Pocket Watch, Royal Slumber Urn. You guys, I will all scroll through and you guys can take a look at that, all of this that I have. I'm making our way into the, my four star artifacts. And then I, I have a lot. Um, I'm working on farming more. I'm working on five star, but I did do a lot of um, four star artifacts um, domains. Um, Flower Blaze, we got a lot of those. More witches hats. Um, witches flames. We got Wonder's Trip, the Vandescent here. Uh, Gladiators, final. Maidens. I'm getting the three star artifacts. This is what I have. Um, this is like a tiny miracle. This one as well. And then two and one star artifacts. Here's all the things that you guys want to look at now. We got all of my resources here that I've gathered. Um, still doing a bit of farming. But each time I get a resource, I'm having to use it, so I'm just having enough because I'm grinding characters that need these material items. So I keep having farming and it get used. But yeah, this is all what I have for my characters. And then here's um, accession materials I have. Going into food, lovely food. Here's all the food I have. And I made some of these. And then I like using this for a dragon spine. I, I use this a lot. Materials, here's all the lovely materials I have. Frog, lizards, crystal core, uh, and then 148 sweet flower, snapdragon, mint, wheat. I've been collecting, I have a lot of berries. Full, chilled meat, and then uh, character session materials, and then flowers, 15 filamino mushrooms, or what I call special mushrooms, because of um, for the characters it's special because like Clee needs them. Um, here's all the flowers, uh, star conches, 58 of those. And then 48 core lapis and then 60 C ones. Um, but yeah, here's all of everything I have. The rest of my inventory. And then birthday, one crimson gate, two hunting trap, uh, seven dream solvents, 24 dust of Azov, uh, masterless star glitter, masterless stardust, um, animal sigil. And then Geo Sigil, two free fragile resin, and a uh, 18 vial of Adepti speed. And then here's all of my um, furnishings for my uh, teapot. My Animo statue, it's on a level nine. My Geo statue is on a level eight. Here's my frost bearing tree. Let's see what level it's at. It's on a level nine. As Clee and I could say, we hope you would like this video. If you enjoyed it. Please let me know if um, you want to see more videos like this. And for future end of version, get updates on my progress. And I hope you guys have.